Welcome to today's episode. In this episode, we are going to be learning about an artist called Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein was a pop artist that created artwork from onomatopoeias. Onomatopoeias are words that are associated with sound. An example would be bang or pop. So, I hope you enjoy today's lesson. Follow along with the video and have fun. Roy Lichtenstein was an American pop artist. His artwork often resembles the pages of comic books. Perhaps his most famous artwork was the painting Wham. This painting shows one plane shooting down another airplane and it has the sound or onomatopoeia Wham written in it. For this project you will need the following. Three pieces or two pieces of colored paper, glue, a pair of scissors and a pencil. If you do not have colored paper at home, magazines will substitute. You'll be able to find backgrounds of various colors in the magazine. So for instance, this magazine cover could be a blue. start a project we're going to draw out our onomatopoeia. I've decided on the sound word of bang. On your coloured piece of paper sketch out your word in pencil and then outline it in black marker. Now we're going to be cutting out our word bang but before we do that I'm going to glue it to another coloured piece of paper. So I'm going to glue the corners to a black piece of paper or you could use paper clips. You could choose any color that you would like to. In that way we are going to create a drop shadow for our word bang. In other words we are going to be cutting out two bangs at the same time. One yellow and one black bang. For my first background layer, I'm going to draw and cut out a big star on a piece of magazine paper. You could use a colored piece of paper, but for my star, I've decided to use a piece of magazine paper. Now, I'd like to make a drop shadow with my star. In other words, I'd like to make another star. So what I'm going to do with my magazine star is use it as a stencil. I'm going to trace around it on another piece of paper, a blue piece of paper. And then I'm going to cut out the blue star. So I'll have two stars. One I'll use as the star and one I'll use as the drop shadow of the star. For my second background, I'm going to draw and cut out a cloud on a piece of newspaper. Again, it doesn't have to be a piece of newspaper. You could use whatever color you want for your second background. Now I want to make a drop shadow for my cloud or a copy of it. So I'm going to put it on a red piece of paper. You could use whatever color you want and trace around my cloud and use it as a stencil. I'm going to then cut it out and this is going to be my duplicate or my drop shadow for my cloud. Let's start assembling our pop art. We've already cut out all the layers. So for your cloud, I would like you to place your drop shadow behind. The drop shadow is just a shape that is copied and you'll be able to see a little bit of it. So in this case, I'm gonna place the newspaper in front of the red drop shadow. We are gonna be placing our second background on top of our first background. Again, I'm going to be wanting to use a drop shadow for my star. So I'm going to be placing my magazine star behind my blue star in order to form a drop shadow for the star. Let's place our onomatopoeia on top of our background. So I've decided I'm going to be using 
a black drop shadow on top of a yellow word for my sound word which is bang. Now that we've finished assembling our pop art, we can start accenting it with some black cokey and by cutting off some offcuts of the colored paper that we haven't used yet. Well, I certainly enjoyed creating a pop art. I really enjoyed how we used automatic peers and how we duplicated shapes to make our pop art. I certainly hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'm going to see you in next week's episode.